but we just have a really great spotlight talk by an amazing woman. She's an entrepreneur, she's a connector and a community builder. Um, and welcome, Olivia June. Good morning. Hi, everybody. I am so thrilled to be in a room full of other women who are dedicated to using their voices for other people's health and wellness and well being. Can we all give you guys a round of applause? As she said, my name's Olivia June. I'm founder and CEO of an app called Hey Vina. And Hey Vina is here to connect and empower women all around the world. It's also known as the Tinder for Girlfriends app. Yay, new friends. And I'm here because I want to talk to you about loneliness. How many of you know that loneliness is the number one health epidemic in the world right now? A few of you. A lot of us don't think about friendship and loneliness in that way, and we think of it a lot of stigma. And it's actually the number one predictor of our mortality. It's the physiological impact of smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Take that in for a second. But I'm gonna ask all of you to be really vulnerable with me. How many of you have felt lonely before? Raise your hand. Look around the room. There's nothing wrong or weird or unusual about feeling lonely. We all feel it. It's the same as feeling dehydrated or tired or hungry. It's a basic human need, but we're so afraid to talk about it. How many of you, uh, well, let me tell you a quick little story about why I started Havina. I would moved to San Francisco from, uh, from Newport Beach, where I grew up, and I found myself sitting day after day in my living room, marathoning America's Next Top Model, and watching Say Yes to the Dress, and looking out the window at all the other people out there who seem to have people to go see, places to go you know, do things. And I thought, why, why am I alone? Like, I used to have so many friends. How do I meet them? So I went online. There wasn't really options. And I tried to hack dating sites to make new friends. So I was the girl messaging, you know, people being like, hey, I'm new to town. I hope it's not weird, but love your style. Love that book too. Want to hang out and grab a coffee or go out for drinks? I don't know, it wouldn't be weird. And I'd get replies saying, thanks, I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> it hurt really bad. I was already feeling really bad about myself. And so I thought, you know what? What if we created a place where everyone's intention was there because they wanted to be friends. And what if we got rid of all of the creepy dudes? <laughs> and so I did that. And I created Hey Vina and launched it to the world. And now we've made uh, more than 8 million friendships globally in 158 countries. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And so how many of you have uh, the intention of meeting new friends while you're here today? Most of you, some people over there are like, I'm not here to make friends. We all know those girls on the shows. Uh, so before we go into this networking break, I want to give you a couple tips because we think it should be so easy. And I know more than any, I've thrown so many women's events over the years, and I know how intimidating it can be to walk into a room full of other women. You're like, they're all so cool. How am I going to meet them? How do I know who to talk to? What am I going to do? This is so hard. And so I'm going to give you a couple tips. One, compliments are your secret weapon. Everyone loves to get compliments. And it's a really, really good way to tell someone that you have something in common with them. You like the thing that they like. You like something about them. And that's really special. It opens the door to start getting to know the person further. You need to get vulnerable. And number two, I want you to just make not just a connection, not just get a business card or an Instagram follower, those are great, but how about lasting connections? How about getting someone's phone number? And when you get their phone number, you know how we're better at faces than names, all of us? Let's take a selfie with the person we're getting a phone number with and text it to them. One, you'll remember who the other person is and they'll remember who you are when you text them later and you won't feel weird about it because you're like, oh yeah, she'll remember me. Two, you'll have a photo from the first day you ever met. How cool is that? My final bonus tip for you 
is download the Havena app. It's free, and it'll help you like navigate the room sometimes whenever you want to have an event like this. It's kind of you just open up your phone, and instantly you're at a blogger conference. You can join the bloggers community. We have health and wellness communities, all those things. All right, so I'm going to set you off to go make some friends, network, have a great day today, and help other people feel not alone in the message of loneliness. When you have the chance, when you're blogging and writing about health and wellness, share something vulnerable about yourself. Tell a story about when you felt lonely, so that way we don't feel so alone in it. Thank you, ladies.